When it comes to gaming with your friends, if you're playing the game storyline, if you're playing co-op, if you're playing just to rank up, you don't think about input lag. If you're watching TV, Netflix, Crunchyroll, Hulu Plus, whatever you're watching, you don't think about input lag. But the moment it becomes competitive, whoa, ho, 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 you think about input lag. What's up guys, it's your boy Sorrow, and today I'm going to explain input lag. Now, brief side note, Response time and input lag are two different things. Now, response time is the time it actually takes for your screen to refresh an image that's already up there. Where so input lag is actually a delay of when you press a button or press whatever you're pressing for it to appear on the screen. Now, each TV and each monitor has a different time set for input lag. When it comes to LED TVs, they significantly have a higher um, input lag time than gaming monitors. And I'm going to give you a brief basically a brief example i don't have a gaming monitor but i'm gonna show you something cool i have a 2013 led samsung on my left side and look at my 2013 hp laptop on my right side now you see i'm running the timer on both of them but you really can't see a difference can you if this was a video game you probably wouldn't be able to see the difference but let's say if i see you that brief millisecond i hit that r1 button guess what happens check that out my laptop would beat your tv any day and the reason why i'm saying that look at my laptop it says five five right and i can't even get to calculate the last number but if you look at my tv it says four three so which one calculated first my laptop now i'm gonna give you another brief example with my two-year-old rca versus my 2013 samsung tv again when i play both of them you can't really see a significant difference until i actually create a still image and that's how gaming work guys look at that my tv is at seven seconds and 900 milliseconds look like that three has turned into a four where so my rca is at zero milliseconds eight seconds and that three legs about to turn into a four that's what causes the craziness when you play competitiveness. So imagine if you're playing competitive and you have a TV like mine versus somebody with a gaming monitor and remind you their input lag is down like the nine milliseconds. Like I don't even know what my laptop is. I would have to say it would probably be pretty high because I know my Samsung TV is about 39 milliseconds. So to be honest with my laptop being this high, I mean, basically being that quick, I have to say it probably brief it down to like 30 or 25 milliseconds. So imagine if i had a gaming monitor running at nine milliseconds guys so i hope you guys did enjoy this video i really did this for fun to show you input lag because somebody actually wanted me to explain it to them and i said hey i can explain it any way i want to but if i actually show you a video of it then you would probably get it so hope you guys do enjoy please give this video a thumbs up and as you see i did all three screens at one time and you know who the winner was my tiny little hp and it actually won because in the RCA was kind of close. That middle number like was about five, but that, that HP was at like six. So hope you guys did enjoy again. And please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions for me, comment below. I'm out, guys.